said, and I'm like, I said, why? Something like that can happen when you thinking that he in a safe place. A mother torn with grief after she says her son was beaten so brutally inside a jail cell he would never open his eyes again. Now, we brought you the story yesterday of a brutal beating behind bars. Tonight, that mother is demanding justice, insisting her son should have been protected by the guards. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray joins us now. She has more on the inmate's death and the push for more oversight. I thought he was safer now than in the streets. Marcia Irving learned in a phone call her son wasn't safe in the Broward jail. BSO said her son, Jannard Jaffard, was savagely attacked in his cell December 16th, leaving him brain dead. This photo his family released shows Jaffard hospitalized before he was removed from life support and his organs donated. <laughs> and I'm like, I say, why? Something like that can happen when you thinking that he's in a safe place. And now he's gone. I can't see Jannar no more. We want to know what happened. How did we get there? Everything. Everything. That's what we're asking for. Justice for Jannar. Broward investigators say Javard was choked and stomped on by his cellmate, this man, Kevin Barnes, who told them he was upset with Javard for not cleaning himself up and because Javard was openly gay. Both Barnes and Javard were found to have mental illness, but it's not clear how long they had been housed together. The family has hired a lawyer to get answers. We know this assault was captured on the jail surveillance system, so why wasn't any officer tasked with monitoring the video. And I want to see the video of what those officers were doing while it was happening. The chief public defender met with the family and has called on the sheriff to do more to protect inmates. A year ago, the sheriff sent a letter to the courts and county to highlight the mental health crisis and calling on them to reduce the length of stay for those experiencing mental illness. We are, we are in a crisis right now in Broward County. We have the highest number of mentally ill individuals in our jail. The sheriff did raise that issue um, late last year. But he focused on the costs, the costs associated with the mentally ill in the jail. Now we need to focus on the conditions of confinement and how they're being treated in that jail to make sure that folks are not to be abused, that they're not being hurt, they're not being threatened, that they're not being overlooked. Now I reached out to the Broward Sheriff's Office for comment and this is what I was told. BSO's Internal Affairs Unit has an open and active administrative investigation into the incident. Two BSO employees, a detention deputy and technician are on administrative investigative leave with pay. I have also asked to talk to the Sheriff Gregory Tony about what the chief public defender has asked more oversight and an investigation into everything that has happened here at the jail. I have yet to hear back on that request. At the Broward Jail in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami. As we have been reporting, the mental health crisis has led to tragic outcomes in South Florida jails. Our Jim Tafidi explored the treatment of people who are mentally ill in the criminal justice system in his documentary. It is called Warehoused. You can watch it by going to CBSMiami.com.